Now, good everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we're looking at another figure, online problem. And the figure goes like this. We want to draw the shape, right? So what you do, like I said earlier, you draw your horizontal and your vertical line, like this. So you take your compass, so you draw your horizontal line. Similarly, with the help of your compass, your set square, you put it on your T-square, and you also draw a vertical line this way, just like we did in the previous question. Now, then this, you'll be having this, this way, right? So, in doing that, what you do is this. So, after doing that, your horizontal vertical line, you take the radius of this circle. We know very well that. The diameter of the circle, this circle, you see the arrow, is 90. This thing is symbol means diameter. You divide it by 2, you are having 45. So you are going to measure 45 using your compass on your meter rule. So if I start from 0 here, I move to 45 here in between 4 and 5. That is 45 millimeter, right? So I'll place at the center here. And I'm going to draw my circle. So I'll draw my circle from the center. I'm going to take in it. Sorry. I'm going to take in it. So. All good. So that's what we we'll do as first. Now the next thing we we'll do a normal procedure. This is the center line is a circle. And the circle is also a symmetrical object. So now do that long. Short, long, short, long, short, long, short, and long. That's the center line. That's the symbol for center line. So the next thing is long, short, long, short, long, short, and long. Right? So this is our center here. Now if you look at our diagram again, we want to draw this circle, this, this one here. The first one should be this. Right, so I'll take my compass, this at this point, and I'll extend it to the beginning of this circle here. At this point, here, you can see at this point here, I'll extend it to this point here. You can see that I'm going to draw this. You can see that, so I'll do the same thing for the other point to place it here also. Mm -hmm. Then I'll adjust it to that end, and I'm going to draw this. That's the first one. Now the next one is there's another one that's lying at this end here. So I have to just put another 45 degrees since the angle is telling us the angle there is 45. So I will do this with the help of my T square. I'll place my T square like this. Right? And um, I am going to take my 45 degrees square, which is this. I'll try the square, square, which is this. Place on the T square, and I'll move it to this point here. You can see. So I'm going to draw this to be more like a, a line this way, a center line also, because a circle is a symmetrical object. So do what I have, right? Now I will turn this point again to this to face the left, the right. And now I will not draw a line, I only mark where I want my compass to be placed, which is here and here. Right? So what I will do is I'm going to take my compass, place it at this point. I will extend it to this end in here. You can see. Then I'm going to draw this. There. You can see that. And I will take the other point, which is this point two I marked. I place it here. And I will also do the same thing here too. So, I have successfully drawn this. You can see that? So, I've drawn that. So, you do your normal um, dimensioning. Put it at the center. Take your compass at this point here. You draw your arc. I'll touch here and here. So, you're going to place your hands for this point. And on this point too. And you write your 45 degrees. 
right and you can see your dimension of your is a uh, 90 diameter so that is it it was helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button thank you